Williamson inside. Zion Williamson played his first minutes of professional basketball tonight, and we get a sample of what to expect from the rookie phenom. In this video, we'll dive into what makes Zion so special and what he can improve upon moving forward. I'm Kevin O'Connor, and this is Zion Williamson's first ever NBA game, Explained. Zion will be a mismatched nightmare for opponents with skills tailor-made for a modern center. The Pelicans opened the game having Zion roll to the rim for a lob dunk, but he got fouled. We got the dunk soon enough. Zion's first bucket displayed his power in the way he seals Kevin Knox off and then shakes him away using his tree trunk arms. Later, Williamson screened and rolled and unleashed another powerful dunk. Note how Zion smoothly takes one dribble to gather before his leap. Zion straight up bullied Kevin Knox here, ripping the ball from him, then unleashing Fury onto the rim. Zion's a gamer, a baller, he's a heavyweight, and he also has the agility of an NFL running back, which will make him a load to handle in the pick and roll. Zion didn't get to run much pick and roll in college, but he'll get to run plenty of it in the NBA. He can score with power, like Blake Griffin, or with finesse and playmaking, like Draymond Green. And yet, at Duke, he finished only seven possessions using the pick and roll. But in the first quarter alone, he finished three. You can expect to see a lot more pick and roll from Zion alongside Lonzo, Ingram, and the rest of the New Orleans Pelicans. In the bonus, Zion can handle the ball too. Here, he blows by Nick center Mitchell Robinson and draws a foul. After the inbound, Zion overpowers Mitchell Robinson to get to the free throw line. He can plow through weaker defenders or turbo by the slower ones. Zion's got the fluidity of a guard, but it's too bad he does have the jumper of a throwback center. Zion's major drawback is his jump shot. In his first game, he was 0 for 3 on jumpers, including 0 for 2 on threes. Zion's not a non-shooter like Ben Simmons. Zion is less Simmons and more, say, Giannis Antetokounmpo or mid-career Blake Griffin in that defenders will happily sag off him and dare him to shoot. Blake has become a good shooter in recent years, and Giannis displayed flashes critical to his MVP leap. But Zion has a long way to go still as a teenager. Zion has a clunky shot because he brings the ball to a set point too early, which halts momentum generated from his legs as he transitions into his release. The ball comes out flat as if it's a weighted medicine ball. In the first quarter, Zion even had an air ball on a pull-up jumper. Defenders won't respect Zion when he's off ball until he shows he can actually make them pay. Notice here how Robinson ignores Zion as he spots up off ball. Robinson can roam to disturb passing lanes while Zion is a non-factor off the ball. Zion also has a bit of a slow and low release, leaving him prone to getting blocked or altered by longer defenders, who can sag off and still recover in time. The best players in the modern game can at least reliably hit a jump shot to keep the defense honest, but what makes Zion potentially special is he has the strengths to thrive even without a shot. He's a ferocious offensive rebounder. He's a gravity-defying athlete who can reach orbit to block shots. Zion plays with energy and passion, and he's still only a teenager. We only saw Zion for nine minutes in his debut before his night ended, and then an earthquake ended the game. But what we saw was glimpses of a player whose game could someday be as gravity-defying as he is.